as you like. Nice. Yeah. What are we going for today? A win. I'm not in good enough shape for anything more than that. I would have liked to have gone for the national record, but I am not in good enough shape. So, yeah. What defines like being good enough shape or not? Well, because I didn't do anything after world. Yeah. I had time off and enjoyed Christmas. And then after New Year's, I got ill. And then I've done three weeks training. So, hmm. We'll see what happens. Who knows? I might pull something out of thin air, but it's very unlikely. I'm also currently under my weight class, which is not ideal. Oh, I told you, if you need help walking. <laughs> so my plan was to get up to 73 kilos and enjoy Christmas, get up heavy, sit there, and then not have to cut weight for this. I'll come cut down for Europeans yeah. in like May, but I failed to get to 73, so. So what are you at home? 70.9 on my scales, but they're light. <laughs> uh, they're heavy compared to these ones are lighter. This is when I'm really wishing that yesterday when they went, do you want your lifters pass? I was like, no, I'll lose it. But now I've got to join a queue, so oh. I should have taken it yesterday. Oh. It's his seven month birthday today, and I'm not at home, and I feel like a bad dog mum. But he has lots of love seeing him today, so he's fine. Hi. I've <laughs> been a right fan girl. Hannah, the photographer. My crew. <laughs> like her right famous her person. Entourage. Her entourage. The camera's following me. <laughs> Better do well, well. Well, you've got six foot posters of you, so. <laughs> no, that's true. There's bigger ones in there. They're bigger than life, so they've got a big head anyway, and it's even bigger. <laughs> Hi, can I have my lifters pass, please? Would you like my ID? <laughs> How's it all going? Good. Is it actually turning over? It's really surprised. I think for a lot of it, so people could try them on, but that's the difference, right? Because like people want to order them, but then the sizing is like, you don't know, you don't know. Because somehow Chris Murray gets an extra small. How? How? Can't get these cars. You know good at pulling. I'm, I'm clearly not that great at pulling. It's not cool. You need to take some layers off. I know, no sweating allowed. I'm just walking around in my pants. Everyone's like, Sarah, okay? I thought, I'm going to get pneumonia, but I'm making way. Those grams count. The water is behind here. So. Hi. <laughs> yeah, it's, to be fair, it's a compact. The competitive group for the men's England spot, so it'll be an interesting one. Like this isn't their final. So for the other home nations, this is their final qualifying event. But for England, because the Commonwealth Games is at home, we've got longer. So we've got until April for our qualification. So it's kind of like a see where everyone's at, and then everyone can go again in April. What happened there? So you can't attempt to do a jerk, like do the dip and then go again to do it but he was doing it to like reset to then go so it's a it's a dodgy one i don't know it's one of them that kind of comes down to the ref so i'm really bad at eating on comp day it's just uh, why because my guts start going and they always have like even as a gymnast i was just never it's not me um, can i have that and then can i have a bacon cob as well please Oh, if there's not, I'll have a sausage pop, please. Thank you. Bacon is good for me. Bacon is good for gains. <laughs> and hopefully it will go into my stomach and I'll be able to eat the whole thing. So, But you're here, so it means I have to do it, otherwise I look like I failed. <laughs> so. Yeah, may I bring the, um, the pressure? The yeah. accountability? The, eat, the eating pressure. Yeah, that's exactly what you bring. My sausages look a little bit anemic, but don't really have a choice. They do, look at them. <laughs> like, here we are. <laughs> so are you just trying to fail me? <laughs> like me, <laughs> me right now. That's why I'm going on holiday. Right, I'm gonna go and get my extra bottle of water. Why are you getting more to Sarah? Because I'm not heavy enough and I need to weigh more and I don't like eating on comp day. So, <laughs> no, she'll leave it in. <laughs> 
so the easiest way to do it is just by drinking fluid and not peeing. Yay! I already need a wee and I've got 25 minutes to the start of weighing. <laughs> it's not funny. I need a wee and I'm having to put more fluid in me. <laughs> a question, Sarah. Can you be too light? Yeah. Is that what you... Okay. So you can, if you're un, you can't be under the class below. So the class yeah. obviously I normally am is 71. Yeah. But I'm lifting at 76. Yeah. But this morning I weighed 70.9. So I've got to be 70.1 or above, or 70.05 or above. Got some flapjacks in your head, then. How come they're recording this? Because it's my first Oh right. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm not heavy enough. So. You're looking good shape. Great. I was watching you yesterday. Yeah. Like, Can't see what means the bar. Feeling good. Feeling well. Is that what you mean? Everything's bigger. Bye, bye. 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 My mum always texts me every morning before comp, like, how's your weight? And I was like, I don't weigh enough. She was like, oh, that's not our normal problem, is it? I was like, no. <laughs> so I'm going to go eat a lot. She's like, don't give yourself indigestion. I was like, mum, I've got ages, but like, I just can't eat on comp day. And she yeah. knows that. And she's like, so what are you going to do? I was like, just drink a lot of water, well, mum. What would happen if you don't make weight? So you have an hour to make the weight. Okay. So I'd have to come out, put some more water in and then go back in, but it also works the other way. So if you're cutting weight, yeah. if you get on the scales the first time and you're heavy, you can leave, get in the sauna, and then come back again within that hour. If you don't make it within the hour, you're not allowed to lift. So, so it works both ways, but hopefully I'm gonna be over. You can be, you can be. First snatch is always nerve wracking because it's the first lift, it's the first time you go out there. You kind of find your groove a little bit and like you wanna get a good one in to start yourself off well. And then after that, you can kind of relax. And then your first clean and jerk is like a little bit nerve wracking because you want to get a total. But then clean and jerks, well, I find clean and jerk easier. And you've got more margin for error on technique. So it's less like, like snatch, you've got millimeters of error to play with. Whereas clean and jerk, you've got a bit more wiggle room. So then once you've got your first lift, some, like first snatch, then you have play time on snatch. And then first clean and jerk, and it's just like play time, full stop, and just put some big weights on the bar. Unless you're going for like tactical stuff so say like at worlds it was all about what we need to do to get those jumps in um to, to secure placings and stuff whereas here will be a little bit different for me because it's kind of just take a title <laughs> i clean a thumbs length from the start of the nil and then my jerk i move my grip out because i've got really long arms so like the distance you want it to be as short a distance to push as possible i until this time last year I was still jerking in my clean grip but it's like it's quite a long way above my head and I'm wonky anyway so it makes me like 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 flagpole kind of thing it makes me more unstable but if you're wider you've got a wider base of support that from gymnastics where I was strong which is why I jerked narrow for so long even though I had long arms to go out wider it's just time and practice and it's practice with that re that readjustment as well because it's just so like doing it on the end of my front squats just to get extra reps in on practicing moving it out. You watch some people, so uh, the person, well, the person that I train with, Guy, he cleans it and then he goes like this and just like lets the bar rest and moves one hand at a time. It's the craziest thing to watch. Yeah, everyone thinks it's just that sexy bit out there, but really, we're either starving or needing a wee. So, sharp. So mate, I'm going to be back on those scales. Uh-oh. <laughs> I've run out of fluid. This is emotional. It's saying like this is not a good idea when I need to wait. <laughs> the bum bag is the one. I had it and everyone's like, nice funny pup Sarah. And then I'm there with like all of my kit in it to coach Craig, like smelling salts tape. And I had like his Lucas aid down either side. Like I felt like I was locked and loaded and ready for battle. And the other coaches were like trying to hold everything. I was like, now nah, you wish you had a bum bag. Yay! Good luck. See you at the other side. Oh, we're busy. Well, Next 
Hold it! Hold it! Jesus Christ, girl, don't do that to me. Yeah! Fill your chest! There it is! Woo! Set yourself! I'm gonna go buy some more food. Yeah, I know. I gained seven kilos since I wore it last time. <laughs> we'll see what happens. No, you'll be amazing. It's pretty. Representing our wisdom for weightlifting, Sarah Davies. The athletes in the women's 76 kilogram category.
The medals will be presented by Kath Leonard, Chief Operating Officer of British Weightlifting. The winner of the gold medal and British champion, representing our wisdom for weightlifting, Sarah Davies! Woo! Please show your appreciation for the British Championship medalist. would have been to go for the 76 national records but with Christmas and after worlds and whatever else it just wasn't in shape to do that um, so I opened on 93 snatch was fine 96 snatch and then a couple of the coaches were like you don't need to take a third and then I was like went to one of the other coaches Andy I was like but 99 is a British record and so we put 99 on and it just I just wasn't in good enough shape for it and it was a bit greedy but it also wasn't that far off which is nice to know that they're my kind of, like 96 is an easy number for me now on not that many weeks training. Um, and then clean and jerk, opened at 117. I would have liked to have just done one, um, but my ego kicked in because somebody else went for another lift. And although I'd already won with 117, I wanted to have the last lift of the competition. So I uh, went for 120. And then, because I was nowhere near uh, sort of hitting the national record, there's no point pushing it and, and risking injury so I just didn't take my third one um, which is some big energy but um, you know it's a win and that's all that matters um, another British title under my belt so. yeah let's have a look at the medal then I mean it's <laughs> not their finest I'm not gonna lie I prefer my ones from the world yeah but you know here we are strong nail game yeah, but I bent one up before my last clean and jerk. I like redid my knee sleeves and I was like, oh, mm. and I don't know if it's actually still attached, but yeah, got to look good up there, mm. you know. So what's next now? So we're waiting to hear on dates, but it will be um, the European Championships, which I think is going to be the end of May. Um, so I'm qualified for the Commonwealth Games now. I'm actually qualified in three weight classes, um, <laughs> so I get to choose. But no, I'll be going at um, 71 kilos. Mm. So that then we can have a good medal spread across the whole of Team England, hopefully. Um, so yeah, Europeans at the end of May, and then the big one this year is Commonwealth Games. Um, so that's that's the plan, which I think you can still get tickets for in Birmingham. So Monday, the first of August, I think it's Monday, 71 kilo class. Go get your tickets. We'll put the link in the thing. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, let me know if you're gonna come watch. So I know some people have got tickets. They've messaged me on Instagram. So. It'd be cool if people can let me know and then I'm going to have a full hype squad. So. Yeah. Yeah. So hope you all enjoyed a little bit of the British Championships. Sorry it wasn't massive weights for you all to watch, but hopefully it was still exciting. Um, it was cool to have Sophie actually videoing rather than me doing it myself. Um, so yeah, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and um, I'll see you all next time. 